Hey everybody, Kairon here, and welcome back to Banished. So, we got our fort uh, started a little bit here. Not uh, not too incredibly much progress, but we got all the main buildings in. Um, we have to work on getting some silver fennec and getting this guy up and operational. Uh, I think we do have our full library in production here. It looks pretty good. I uh, did say that we were running low on food in one of these little recent events, so uh, it should be fine. Honestly, we're at the end of the growing season here, so should uh, should be getting that pretty quick here. Feathers are still a concern, and so is pewter. Uh, let's see what we have for pewter production. We need copper ore, which we have plenty of, and tin ore. 1400, yeah. So we're good on the resources for that. We just have to actually produce more of it. Um, how are we doing on iron ore? Iron ore. 7,000 iron ore. Hmm. We could probably put in another one of these guys. Let's, uh, let's change this one to pewter so that we get double pewter production and hopefully that will allow us to keep up a little bit better. Um, wow, how much does this use? 16 and 22 and it's still not enough. That is pretty ridiculous. I'm guessing our feather production is not all that great yet. Fifth of feathers, zero, yeah. So, still got to work on that. We do have these guys growing, but, oh, that might be a problem. <laughs> so, make sure that is up. Oh, wait, no, 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 that's the, uh, that's our Frisian cows. That's right, that's right. My bad, my bad. It is about 5 a.m. right now. Um, it's been quite the rough week, but I wanted to get a video out, so here I am at 5 in the morning. It is freezing cold out right now. <laughs> I think it got down into the 20s last night, which is not fun when last week it was just in the 70s. And I think uh, on Monday it's supposed to hit 70 again, so good job, weather. Good job. All right, still waiting for these guys to be able to empty. Um, I don't think we really can. We gotta wait for them to come down to about five before we can empty those out, and we can replace them with the beef cows we got here. Tannery. Um, okay, there we go. So we got our tanneries up and running. Need leather, water, and salt. We've got salt coming in. We've got water coming in from our water towers, and we have plenty of leather. So I'm still waiting for silk eggs to come in so that we can do uh, an actual farmable crop, but um, we'll uh, we'll use the cured leather for now. Uh, cured leather actually, I don't know if we can use it for anything else. Um, I think you can make rugs out of it. Let's see, bedding. Uh, where do we make rugs? <laughs> Where's our weaver? Weaver, weavers. Yeah, you can make a cured leather rug, but I don't think we really need rugs for anything. Uh, rugs are homewares, I think. Oh, we could do that. Because it's five rugs, so we don't have to rely on feathers so much. So we could do... Actually, I think we only have one homeware supplier, right? So we can only make one at a time. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. Let's get that one upgraded to uh, the fanciest. Those guys have been working hard, so might as well give them a fancy home to come home to. Got our fancy homes on point up in here. Uh, these we haven't even bothered to upgrade. I could probably do that. What does it require? Uh, rope. <laughs> do we even have any rope? I don't think I've really focused on rope production. I, I think one of our little uh, workshops here has been producing it, though. 532. That's not bad. We need, what, 27? So we can upgrade about math four times five twenty. So we can upgrade about twenty of them. That's not too too bad. Let's uh, let's do that. One. We'll uh, we'll just upgrade a couple right now. And luckily we have that barracks in place, so these people actually have a place to go in the meantime, which is fantastic. 
All right, I'm probably not going to worry about these guys at all because they are not going to give me what I need. No silkworm eggs. The industry supplier doesn't really have more than one of the uh, traders. <laughs> they have one and only one kind of trader that trades one very specific set of items. So, a little sip of coffee here. Get me going this uh, wonderfully cold and dismal Friday morning. <laughs> Aye. All right, so we're still waiting for the cured leather. Just make sure that we are producing it. Uh, looks like we have the materials necessary. We just haven't produced it yet. I don't know how fast these are. I'm guessing they're probably pretty slow. But we'll see. We will see. But yeah, otherwise, uh, not too shabby. Not too shabby. We've got uh, quite a bit of good stuff in place. Still need to get more churches in. Uh, did I build more churches? I uh, need to upgrade you, though, to Farmer's College. And then we'll put uh, one more teacher in place. Boom. Just in preparation for when that gets built up. And perfect. Food production is pretty good yet. We've got 38,000 surplus at uh, early spring. Um, probably want to work on getting some more food. I'm not entirely sure though. We have plenty of laborers. We're kind of getting at that point where if we get too many more people, you know, once once you get past a thousand people, the game, it just, the performance is not there. So I think we might need to do a little bit of a culling <laughs> to uh, get our laborers back down into a, uh, to a rate that's going to allow us to continue to play the game. So, what else we got here? Oh, I never built a blockhouse, did I? Hmm. Uh, blockhouse produces fennec, right? A small amount of gilder. Eh, we don't really need gilder. Hmm. I don't even know what a blockhouse is. A vital strategic point garrisoned with militia. Yeah, I guess that's, uh... That doesn't really need to be in this area. Um, can we fit it over here? It's kind of like a guard tower, if I understand this correctly. We'll put it over there. Why not? We'll, uh, we'll use this kind of in place of the forward post over there. So the forward post will be down here, and the garrison will be up here, and then we'll, uh, we'll call that a day. Uh, we do need a little bit more production of Fennec though, so uh, Governor's Office hmm what do we want to do with the Governor's Office uh, do I have one down here? I can't remember if I uh, actually built one in this area I thought I built one somewhere, there it is there's a Governor's Office that I built so we'll put a governor's office down here as well, and then we'll put one up here too, just so that we have representation across the board. So everybody has to pay taxes. Okay. Farmers College going in. Got a couple of governor's offices going in. You, why do you not have any wheat? Are we really out of wheat? <laughs> we are out of wheat. How in the hell is that possible? That is crazy. I don't think we were using all that much wheat. The only thing that we have is the uh, the water mill here grinding it into flour for our bakery for hardtack. Oh well. I guess we'll, uh, we'll have to put in a couple more fields while we're at it. Um, I might have to start expanding our field areas. So let's see what else we need to put in. So we got a black house, we got a parade ground, uh, work camps. I don't think we have any work camps in place. Hmm. Oh, and it's just short. Shoot, 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 shoot. What does a work camp do? Um, construction, development, landscape, all these matters, responsibility, military force, and peacetime. Basic pay tools and energy of restless garrisons into basic resources. 
Hmm. Yeah, I could probably put that inside here. I think it'll actually fit here. Yeah. Yeah, that'll fit nice. So put two work camps in there uh, so that the uh, the barracks, they can go to the rifle range or they can go to the work camp, kind of whatever they need to do. We'll, uh, we'll skip the nomads for now. And we'll uh, we'll kind of wait on that. Silkworm mags, there we go. So we'll get 10 of these guys. And let's go ahead and build us. Um, actually, we might as well get 20. They're cheap. <laughs> so, oh, he's got 280 of them. Fantastic. We could build all the silkworms. Um, let's see. I think I think the white mulberry is. Oh, I need white mulberry too. Shoot, <laughs> that would have been good to remember. Uh, so let's get our farm tr supplier out and bring back the white mulberry. All right. So white mulberry is going to be important. You know what? Let's just do. We'll do 40, and then we'll make you go away. Um, actually, we could probably do white mulberry seeds here, right? Um, we can't. Why not? Um, it's just doing that weird thing. Oh, there it is, yeah. Sometimes it, for whatever reason, does a weird sorting order on some of its um, seeds. I don't know why. But, uh, yeah, so, got white mulberry hopefully coming in an order, otherwise our farm supplier is out. Hopefully we get a seed vendor, and then we should be good there. Um, but we do need to get some fields in place here. Um, I think this would be a good area, because there's a nice kind of L-shaped hook right here. So we could probably start clearing this out. Um, and then we can move our... Eh, do we really need this anymore? So let's take a look. So we have an herbalist, um, which we don't have a whole lot of medicine stored, so we may need to increase that. But I thought we had something here. So who do we have? We have an herb mender who's doing nothing. Uh, dock building. All right. So herb grower and herb mender. So the herb grower produces herbs and the herb mender turns them into usable materials. So let's do an herb grower. Oh, I don't know which... So it looks like there's a door on every side. So let's put three of these in. And then we can get rid of... Ooh, these are capped. These are fire bundles. And we'll, we'll bump that up. I don't I, I don't want to have too much fuel laying around, but at the same time I want them to produce all the different types of fuel. So I don't want like 4,000 coal and then we're running out of fire bundles to make the uh, furnace fuel. Alright. What else we got here? Um, so we can probably get rid of the deer camp. We could probably get rid of the gatherer. We can... The forest lodge is the only thing that we really need. Oh, we're out of logs, too. Holy buckets. Um, we have one down here, too. Yeah, so we should have plenty of... Was it foresters? Yeah, we have 16 foresters. How do we have 16? Oh, yeah, we have one over here as well. And then, so that should be 12. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what else is using our foresters, but it is what it is. Uh, we could probably put some stuff up here, so let's, uh, let's move these guys. We'll do, I think we did new trees only. New trees. We'll do boom. Um, boom, and boom. 
All right. And then we'll start getting this cleared out so that we can do some good old fashioned fields. Uh, we're going to have to put in a place for them to store that stuff. Uh, how's our college doing? College is still down. So we'll get a priority on that. And yeah. Uh, this area we could probably start claiming as well. Hmm. Um put some stuff here too. What do we wanna what do we wanna do? I gotta put in a plantation somewhere. We could probably borrow one of these. We have enough sugar cane. So yeah, let's change one of these to white mulberry when we get it. And then we can put our our uh, silkworm hut thingies here. And I think it's food. <laughs> it's it's an I don't know. It's uh, it's trees, right? Yep. Yep. So it's a production building. Right. There we go. And put a road right down the middle here. And there we go. Um, actually I think I might do a dock there. Let's uh let's throw a dock in. Let's see, right there's our road. And then we'll do a single piece dock right there. So they uh, have a, another little entry point onto this area. All right, four silkworm huts coming up. Honestly, we're probably only gonna use one of these because uh, I think the silkworm hut is pretty good at production. Like I, I think it can use a lot of mulberry and uh, produce a lot of silk on its own. But we'll have four, just in case. Just in case we ever want to expand. You know, silkworms are uh, a fairly small footprint, you know, if you look at it. If we had, like, all four of these working on mulberry and all four of these working on silk, that's a lot of silk being produced for a, a small area, as opposed to needing, like, um, our llamas here. You know, the, the llamas take up pretty much the same amount of space to begin with just to produce wool for um, these guys. And we don't have any linen. Oh, we're using linen for everything. Mm. I want more feathers. That's what I want. Uh, we'll do wool coats. I think we have a lot of wool. Yeah, we have 1100 wool. So let's just do wool coats. And we'll go with that for now until we can uh, up our production here. And we definitely need logs. Logs are going to be important. All right, so it looks like that is good. So let's uh, let's get a priority on our little stockpile here. Got a trader in. Perfect. Uh, red mulberries and nothing that we really need. Oh, those grocery. I don't know if they have seeds. I don't think they have seeds, but. All right, get rid of you. Perfect. What else we got here? Food's still doing pretty good. Herbs are still being built. This guy, awesome. So we've got enough. Uh, 7,550, 225. I think we can do 225 students. What do you need? Venison. Ooh, you use venison. What else can you make that we have a lot of? Cheval we don't have. Um, fish and potatoes. And we could do fish and potatoes, but I think I have the smokehouse up here doing fish. And I don't think we have a big excess of fish, do we? We do not have an excess of fish. So, chicken and honey. Mm, chicken and honey, that's what we'll do. 
We'll do uh, we'll do sweet chicken because we should coming up here have quite a bit of chicken coming in. So how is our chicken stock doing? Forty eight. We have a little bit of an excess, and then once these are all up and running, which it looks like they all are, we should have quite a bit of chicken coming through. So this is the first season that we're actually getting chicken. So yeah, that'll work. And I'm guessing we have a just ton of honey. <laughs> so we've been we've been on a it's it's all being used by something, but um, we have a solid production of it, so I'm not worried. Yeah, 416 per season. It's apparently just getting eaten, which I guess is fine. Um, hard tech. What do you? Potato glassware and furnace fuel. Out of potatoes too, man. We are just out of resources. We definitely need to get some fields in here. So let's let's do that. Um, I think I'll start it right there, and we're gonna do our typical thirty by fives. Thirty by fives all the way down. There you go. So we'll get those in place, and then should be good. Should be good. So we should have enough room where we can do another 30 in here. Let me just uh, check. Um, yeah, it's plenty of room. 30 by 5 can go down to there. And then we have a little bit of space here that we can put in some production buildings yet. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. And then we can get all this teared, uh, teared down, torn down. And this entire area should be good as fields. All right. These guys are up and operational. We'll, uh, we'll get these back to max. Make them beef cows. Beef cows. That one, um, oh, yep, yeah, no, that one's good too. Those are people running around, not cows. <laughs> Let's see, beef cows. Why did I have that one set to zero? I'm not entirely sure. Beef, 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 beef. Split, 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 split. Get that last one filled in. There it is. There we go. So I got them all filled in. Perfect. So we should have more beef coming in. Beef is always good. Uh, we're maxed on iron, it appears. Uh, let's do... Let's, let's do 5,000. Just so that we can kind of keep that going. What is actually producing iron ore? That's a good question. This guy? Nope, you're producing coal. Wow, we have a lot of coal. Honestly, we could probably slow down on coal production here. So I think this one's doing coal as well, right? Yeah, we have we have a ton of coal coming in. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll swap to iron. And then how's our tools? Tools are looking pretty good. So we're we're good since we started doing the bronze tools, and then uh, I think we have if we ever run out of tools again, I want to just keep doing steel tools because we have just a ton of iron coming in. What happened here? Did I do a full clear on this? I do not remember doing that. I thought, huh? Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, well, I'm kind of glad I did because uh, then I have some space here that I can put in some extra buildings. But uh, my brain, for whatever reason, did not remember doing so. All right. So I think we'll do another longhouse on the other end here. Um... Let's, uh, let's just take a look at what our distance is. Ah, I guess I gotta just put in the longhouse and uh, hope for the best. <laughs> All right, longhouse, get lined up here. And I think I want to butt it up right against the mountain for this one instead of having the TP in back because there's not really uh, that nice path in there. All right, 
So let's get this and then let's see it's two blocks away from the end yeah I think it's right there so I think it's 31 no I think it might be 30 I think it might be 30 I want it to be I want it to be odd if at all possible Oh, it should be right. Because that's where the... I don't know, I have it here. So, let's put my finger on that so I can see where it is. Yeah, I think it's... I think it's even. Alright, so let's, uh, let's back this up. One spot. Longhouse. right there. So then that should hopefully be 29 in between. And then I want to do a... What in the hell are you? Wild Things Forester. Oh, okay. Huh, oh, interesting. Interesting. All the Wild Things is kind of a uh, sandbox mode where you can... Um, it's basically all the resources respawn, so if you... Like, if you come out here and you gather all of this up, these will, those rocks and iron will eventually grow back. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but it is what it is. All right. So, all right. So, yeah, I want to do like a little fireplace or a, uh, a fire pit here and, and some, some stuff going on. So, I don't think we have like a large fire pit or anything like that. I think it's, I think the the single block campfire is really all you have. Yeah, I could do a pond. But yeah. Fountain. Nope. <laughs> yeah, this uh this little single fire pit is the only thing that we have, so we'll have to make do with what we got. So I don't think there's any kind of fire ring or anything like that. Wish there was like a three by three fire, that'd be neat. That would be neat. Uh, yeah, so we have four governors. And, yeah, so that should be good. Alright, so work camps are up. We need silver fennec and tools. Are these iron tools we would need? Hmm, iron tools, you say. Hmm, these are rough tools. Might have to build our own blacksmith up here if we want to do this. We might as well. We have tons of iron. <laughs> so, let's see. Uh, blacksmith. Hey, look. It actually fits as well. It's like the perfect width for two of these work camps. I love when that happens. That makes my day. That makes my day. Uh, what are we doing up here? All right, so wheat, potatoes. Um, actually, I think I'm just gonna do wheat and potatoes up here. We don't really need strawberries. The only thing we use strawberries for is uh, making wine. So uh, we do need our white mulberry yet. Let's see, wedding pemmican. No, dismiss you. Should have checked your trades, but I didn't, because I'm a dirt. White mulberry, perfect. We got it anyway. We got it. Let's see, we have tobacco. We we have flax, right? I'm pretty sure flax is the linen one. Flax, yeah. Uh, we have cherries. Yes, we have cherries. Sunflower seeds we could get to make uh, some oil, but I don't think we need oil for anything. So we'll stick with white mulberry. And that will do for us. Change you to... Oh, is white mulberry a crop field now? Hmm... 
it is a plantation item. Oh, it's a crop field now. It is a crop field. Derp. Hmm, what do we want to do for that? Uh, we could put it right here. Eleven by thirteen. Yeah, we'll put it there for now. And then I think I want to make another one up here at the same time. So let's uh, surround this guy, attach you, do a remove road from my little derp there. And then I think I want to put one up here too. So let's do a dense. And remember, it has to be odd. So let's get rid of this guy. I'll empty that out and then I'll uh, I'll put a mulberry field there. Like I said, the shape on fields doesn't necessarily matter because they don't have a, um, uh, a pattern where they harvest it. They pretty much just go to any tree that is matured and they grab it, kind of like they do for the foresters. They'll go to basically whatever trees in range that is um, ready for harvesting. Right, potato, 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 and wheat. So, potato, wheat, potato, wheat, potato, wheat. All right, one, 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 one. And then bump up our farmers to 51. There we go. Nope. Oh. Need one more here. What are you? Wheat. So you will be potato. There we go. So next season we should get a little bit more food coming in. Hopefully we'll stop running out of materials for these, uh, the pub kitchen and all that good stuff. Um, and our uh, brewery and our grinder or our uh, water mill. I think we have, it's a water mill, right? Yeah, water mill. And yeah, should be good should be good so i think that is going to do it for this episode hope you all enjoyed this guy's actually building up which is not too shabby we'll uh, continue on next episode with all the stuff that we got going on hopefully we can get some of our um our fort buildings up and operational actually it looks like we're able to so we'll do iron tools we'll uh we'll get one guy working here so we can start getting that taken care of. I think we have silver fennec, but we definitely need a higher production of that. Silver, 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 silver fennec, 120. Yeah, it's not bad, but we definitely need more. Um, and then we need to get uh, our production of these up. Oh, this is just military supplies. Huh, awesome. Well, that's handy. We have plenty of military supplies. But yeah, so that is going to do it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions on what you want to see next, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I love reading all your comments, and we will see you next time.